Hello there guys and welcome back to another X-Plane 12 video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the MOL M7235B by vSky Labs. The MOL 7 by vSky Labs is the very first native X-Plane 12 aircraft. It has been built for the flight simulator cutting edge flight model environment with superb flight dynamics and authentic performance and flight handling characteristics. The aircraft has been also built for VR and optimized for 2D usage. The MOL M7 is an easy-to-fly 4 or 5-seat tail dragger stall aircraft. Most models can be fitted with float skis or bush tires, and there is also a nose wheel version. The aircraft is agile and versatile, has a large and easy-to-access cargo area, the MOL 7 is considered one of the favorite bush planes and also favorite among commercial operators and private pilots. In terms of the 3D modeling, I believe V Sky Labs uh, has done a reasonable job really developing the 3D model to an acceptable standard. The details on the aircraft fuselage and the texture work is also done to an acceptable standard. Not the highest fidelity possible in my view, but there's a lot more than what meets the eye in this M7 aircraft. Let's take a look at the interior. The interior modeling of the aircraft uh, looks again uh, pretty good. I think it is done to an acceptable standard. Uh, slightly better, I think, in terms of the fidelity when compared to the exterior model. The sounds aboard this uh, M7 is probably the weakest point of the aircraft being default sounds, with the exception of the engine sounds, which I think are very well made and we'll take a look at that uh, as soon as we start the engines but let's take a listen here again the sounds uh, of these switches are all the same they're default sounds uh, so uh, maybe that's an area for improvement but again v sky labs uh, focuses mainly on the flight model the flight characteristics so i can actually look beyond uh, beyond the sounds uh, considering the price point uh, of this aircraft let us now start the aircraft from its cold and dark state, take it for a short flight around the area and come back and land. Now you'll be very pleased to know that there is a float version of this aircraft which we are also going to be taking a look at later in this video. First thing, we are going to set the fuel selector and we're going to turn on both the battery and alternator and we're going to push the mixture to full rich. And we're going to crack the throttle a little bit and we can now turn on the ignition and we have a good start now listen to those engine sounds i think they are very good uh, the engine sounds are quite immersive and they are quite loud as well uh, we're going to turn on the avionics and we're going to turn on the transponder as well there we go transponder is on and let's go ahead and turn on our lights Anti-collision lights, landing lights, uh, nav lights, and we'll leave the pitot for now. The circuit breakers are not modeled. All right, we are ready to release the parking brake and taxi to the runway. I really like the sounds uh, aboard this M7. And uh, I do like the panel work inside the aircraft. The exterior, by the way, is not bad, but I feel it can use some improvement. All right, let's make the left turn here and depart. All right, we're ready to go. Let's give it full power. Some wind there from the left. All right, let's rotate. Wow, I tell you, this aircraft feels so, so realistic in the way that it handles and responds to the wind. 
And as you can see, we have some crosswind, and just look at that. Look at that crosswind. This aircraft handles so well, it is so fluid, and it does really feel extremely realistic flying this aircraft in windy conditions, and uh, I really am enjoying it. Feels very, very nice, and if you like tail draggers, uh, this aircraft will, you will definitely enjoy this aircraft, I'll tell you that much. Right, let's get some altitude. Right, and let's idle the power. Nose up. Stall warning is there. And there we go, that's the stall. Nose down, full power. And we just recovered from the stall in time. That is very, very realistic in terms of the behavior of, uh, of the stall. Uh, really an aircraft that I really like a lot, guys. And uh, if you like, uh, you know, uh, bush planes, uh, this aircraft is, in my view, a must-have aircraft. Uh, by the way, on the price point, it is under $30, and you get two aircraft, and not just one, you get the floats version as well. So I think that's a real bargain, and it's just really handled so well. It responds beautifully, just like a real aircraft. All right, we're going to attempt to land back at the airport. Here's a chance for us again to experience the crosswind as we come into land. I tell you, this is just really an amazing bird. Uh, highly recommended, guys. I can tell you with confidence that you will absolutely enjoy this aircraft. What a brilliant uh, aircraft. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. For under $30, you actually get two aircraft. This is the float version of the um, M7 by V Sky Labs. It is equipped with a water rudder as well as a landing gear. We're going to fire this up and take it for a short flight, but first let's take a look here at the outside. As you can see, beautiful rendition by V Sky Labs. Uh, I do like this version of the aircraft more than the uh, land version. I like it with the floats. I think it looks uh, really phenomenal. And the 3D model, again, is, is, is a good 3D model done to a very high standard. You have a lot more details on the float version, as you can see. And I think they've done a really very good job modeling the aircraft. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire it up and take it for a short flight. Let's go ahead and hop into the cockpit. All right, first thing first, we're going to set the uh, fuel tanks and we're going to turn on the battery and alternator. We're going to ma also make sure that the anti-collision lights are turned on and the nav lights are on. We're going to put the mixture on full rich 
and we are going to deploy the water rudder as well so we can move it let's take a look at the outside as you can see the water uh, rudders are now operational and we can now start the engine and we have a good start and we're ready to go all right let's line up the aircraft very nice water effects here as we turn the aircraft and get it ready for takeoff all right we are ready to go let's give it full power airborne tell you this aircraft handles so well now you can land this uh, aircraft with the floats uh, on land uh, by lowering the landing gear and uh, we are gonna turn back and land the aircraft on water uh, again so we're gonna just ease off on the throttle here well, folks, uh, if you like general aviation aircraft, this M7 by V Sky Labs will definitely bring hours of enjoyment to your flying experience. We're going to attempt to land the aircraft back on water again. And here is the water runway. My final remarks on this small M7 aircraft by V-Sky Labs is that it's a very well-made aircraft. The 3D model itself is done to an acceptable standard, and the texture work could use some work in my opinion. The same goes for the sounds. I think they are okay in terms of the engine sounds, however the interior sounds of the aircraft can use some improvements as well. I am very happy to recommend this aircraft. It receives the Q8 Pilot seal of approval and a final score of 8 out of 10. Well, folks, this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this short review video of the Mall M7 by V Sky Labs. I hope that you have found this video to be informative and useful. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye for now.